hey guys and welcome to my channel so today i'm going to be showing you how to crochet these little daisy um granny squares and i have a bunch here i actually made a ton of them and i think i'm just going to keep making more and more until i have enough to create a throw size blanket that's my plan we'll see if i follow through with it because that is a lot of granny squares so what we're gonna do is we'll start by making the center of the daisy and then we'll make the petals and then we'll do the rest of the granny square. You can use whatever colors you like. I chose these ones, I had them on hand. So this is the Kobu yarn by Lion Brand. This one is in the color mauve. This was just a random skein I had laying around my house. I'm honestly not sure what brand it is but it's just a worsted weight um yarn and this one also kobu and it's white and that's what i use to make these so to make the granny square i'm also using a 3.75 millimeter crochet hook and of course you need some scissors and you're going to need a yarn needle to weave in the ends see on the back here i got my ends all in there so you can't see them and I just realized uh, my dog is playing with his squeaky toy <laughs> so I have my first color here this is going to be the center of the flower and again if you hear anything in the background it is my dog Martin so we're going to start with the magic loop so wrap it around your fingers I like to hold it in place the working yarn in place with my pinky insert your crochet hook yarn over and pull through the loop okay and then we're going to do yarn over and pull through that loop so now we're going to do eight single crochets into the center of this loop here so insert your hook yarn over pull through yarn over pull through two do that seven more times insert yarn over yarn over pull through two one, two, three, four, five, six, and seven. So that was a total of eight single crochets and make sure you untwist all of this here. So you have your eight single crochet. Now you're going to tug on that tail that you had wrapped around your fingers and cinch it closed. And then we're going to do a slip stitch into that very first single crochet that you made. So insert your hook, yarn over, pull through two. So that's how you make the center of the flower. What I'm gonna do here is go ahead, yarn over, pull through one more time. We're going to cut the yarn and pull that all the way through to secure it. Now you can go ahead and set aside the center color and we're going to take our hook, insert it into any of these um, single crochets here. And then we're gonna take the color we're using for our petals. This is what I have left of mine. Place it on your crochet hook and pull it through that single crochet there. And then we're going to do a chain of five. One, and I'm actually doing it with the tail as well, just to weave in that end. It's one less end that you have to weave in at the end of the project. So that was one, two, three, four, and five. Next, what you're gonna do is yarn over, go back into that same single crochet yarn over pull through and then you're going to yarn over and you're just going to pull through two loops not all of them and then yarn over go back into that same single crochet spot yarn over pull through yarn over pull through two so now you have three loops on your crochet hook then you're going to yarn over and for the last time, go into that same single crochet spot, yarn over, pull through, 
yarn over, pull through two. And so now you should have four on your crochet hook and you're going to yarn over and pull through all four. So we've finished our first petal and now we're going to chain two. One, two. And then you're gonna go into your next single crochet, yarn over, insert your hook, yarn over, pull through, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, go back into that same single crochet, yarn over, pull through, yarn over, pull through two. This time you wanna have five loops on your hook. So two more times, yarn over into the same single crochet spot, yarn over, pull through, yarn over, pull through two. One more time, yarn over into the same single crochet, yarn over, pull through, yarn over, pull through two. So now you have five on your hook. You're gonna yarn over, pull through all five. Then you're going to chain two and you're going to do the same thing in the next six single crochets. So we have one, two, three, four, five, six. Okay, so same thing in this next single crochet, yarn over to the next one, yarn over, pull through, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, insert your hook into the same one, yarn over, pull through, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, go back into the same one, yarn over, pull through, yarn over, pull through two, one more time so that we have five loops on our hook. Now you can yarn over and pull through all five and you have three petals, chain two, and you're gonna do five more like that. Once you've completed all eight petals, you want to do a slip stitch into the top of that chain five that you did on your first petal. So we're gonna go to the top here, find top chain, which is here, insert your hook, yarn over, pull through two. I'm gonna go ahead and yarn over, pull through one more time. You can take that off your hook, cut your yarn and secure that. So now we have our petals and the center of our flower all done. You can put the white or whatever color you used for the petals, put that aside. Now we're gonna be working into the chain two spaces. So go ahead and insert your hook, grab your third color the color that you're using for the square. Go ahead and put that onto your hook, pull through the chain, the chain two space. And again, I'm working with the tail and the working yarn just so that I don't have to weave this in at the end. And then we're going to do a chain three. One, two, and three. Next, you're gonna do three double crochet into the same chain two space. So yarn over, insert your hook, yarn over, pull through, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two. Do that two more times into the same chain two space. Next, you're going, you're gonna do three double crochet into the next chain two space. One, two, and three. And then go to the next chain two space and do three double crochet. And then I'll show you how to make the first corner. Okay, so now we're going to make our corner. We did our three double crochet. So then you wanna chain two, one, two, 
and then make three more double crochet into the same chain two space. And you'll see how this forms a corner. That's two and three. Okay, so you can kind of see this right here is your corner. The next thing you want to do is three double crochet into the next chain two space. Go to the next chain two space. This is going to be another corner. So you want to do the three double crochet. One, two, and three. And then you want to create your corner. So you do chain two, one, two. And then you're going to go into the same chain two space with three more double crochet like you did on your last corner. One, two, and three. Oops. So that was your second corner. And then you're going to go into, once I can grab my loop here, go into the next chain two space with three double crochet. One, two, and three. You're going to make one more corner here. So go to your next chain two space. Do three double crochet, two and three. And then you're going to chain two for your corner and do three more double crochet into the same chain two space. Okay, so that's your last corner there. The next thing you're going to do is three double crochet into that last chain two space there. One, two, three. Now that you've come to your last corner here, you're going to yarn over and you're gonna do two double crochet into the same chain two space as the corner. One, and that will finish this corner. Two, and then you're going to slip stitch into the top of that chain that you made there, chain three, slip stitch. Okay, then you can kind of pull on it and shape it as you need to. And then you could be done here if you wanted to, and you could just pull the yarn through and weave in your ends. I wanna make it this size. So we're gonna go around one more time. So chain three, one, two, and three. Now you're gonna make three double crochet into that same slip stitch spot. One, two, and three. Then you're gonna find your next space here and do three double crochet. I don't know why I do that, but sometimes I will switch and I will wrap it around my finger like that. And then sometimes I'll go this way and wrap it like that. <laughs> I don't know which one I like better, but anyway, now we're gonna do three double crochet into the next space. And then we come up on our first corner here we're going to do it the same we did in the last round. So we're gonna yarn over and do three double crochet into that next space. After we do our three double crochet, we chain two, just like before. 
and then three more double crochet into the same corner space. One, two, and three. Find your next space and do three double crochet. So it's the same as the last round, except that there's one more space in between the corners where you have to do three double crochet. So find your next space, do three double crochet. And then we come up on our next corner to make another corner. So three double crochet into the corner space. And then chain two. So one, two, three more double crochet into the same corner space. Oops. Find your next space and do three double crochet. And again, next space, three double crochet. And we're on our last corner here, so we're gonna make another corner, three double crochet into that space. Chain two, and then three more double crochet into the same corner space. One, two, and three. So we're gonna do three double crochet into these next two spaces. And then you're gonna come up on your last corner here. We're gonna do the same thing we did the last round, and that is to make two double crochet into this same spot here where you did your first three, yarn over. Oops, one, and one more into the same space, two. And then we're just going to slip stitch into the top of that chain three. Slip stitch, and then I'm gonna yarn over, pull that through one more time and go ahead and cut your yarn. Pull that yarn all the way through to secure it. And then you can kind of shape it how you need to. And now we're gonna turn it over and we're gonna weave in our ends. Cut this strand here because we wove that in. Wove, is that a word? When we did the chain, this one as well. So what I like to do with the center, I like to tie these two ends together on the center of the flower with a double knot. And then I'll weave these two ends in at the same time. So I just make them the same length. I grab my yarn needle, insert those into the yarn needle. And then I weave these in the best I can. Trim those up. And you're all done. So that is how you make a daisy granny square. Super easy. It's a really fun beginner crochet project. Like I said, you can make as many as you want and create it into something large or you can just make one and use it as a coaster. There's so many different things that you can do with granny squares. 
It's just all personal preference. I think I'm gonna make mine into a blanket if I have the motivation to keep making these. And that is it, you guys. I really hope that you enjoyed this video. If you have any questions, leave them down below. I do my best to answer and help you guys out. And I will have the links to this yarn down below and any other items that you need to make these granny squares. I'll have more information on my website and what I actually end up doing with these granny squares. So if you're interested to know what I make with them, I will have that on my website soon, linked down below in the description box. And that is it for today's video. I hope you liked it and I will see you in my next one. Bye.